If you want to play Firefight right now in Halo Infinite, this is how you do it. First, you go into your game, go up to the Community tab, search for the Customs Browser right here, and then you have to manually search through the list of different modes right here since you can't actually filter under Firefight. But trust me, you'll find it soon enough when you first scroll through some of the playlists right here. Like right here, Firefight on the Star Destroyer from Star Wars. That sounds amazing. I would absolutely love to play that. We have another firefight mode right here just on Zanzibar, which would be a fun mode to play, and firefight for another custom-made map within Forge. But what if you don't want to play the maps that they're playing on? Well, I have five maps that you can check out right now in Halo Infinite that I would say are a must-play for firefight. If you guys enjoyed these type of videos, make sure to tap like as it's the best way to help out the video and channel. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo and gaming, make sure you tap subscribe and Let's get right into it. The first map you absolutely have to check out is Sierra 117 Firefight. Okay, I'm already enjoying this. Now this isn't a 100% recreation of that section where you save Sergeant Johnson from the Brutes, but I think it was all improved for the functionality of the gameplay for Firefight. But from what I've played so far, this is definitely one of the best maps for Firefight within Halo Infinite right now. I'd say this works best from 4 to 8 players. It does say you can go up to 10, and you use the mode Outskirts Firefight for this. Now you can choose like Normal, Heroic, Legendary difficulty. We've played on Heroic, and with about 4 to 8 players, that was still enough of a challenge. I've only played Halo Infinite on PC. Oh my god, these brutes, dude. These brutes, my dude. No! <laughs> and the Forgers did an amazing job of recreating this area, but also making their own artistic changes to help improve it for more of a firefight gameplay experience. The biggest change is adding this bridge. It's right in the middle that goes over the dam right there, so you don't have to go around the whole thing to get to that last part where the cell is, where Sergeant Johnson's located. They do have random weapon spawns that are on the wall, so it helps kind of mix up the gameplay a little bit, but they also do have a good variety of power weapons throughout the entirety of the whole thing so you, you can always just jump in and pick up a rocket launcher and feel like a total badass oh my god there's other there's so many and they even have the jackal snipers sitting at the back of the map just like they do in the campaign you do have that sneaky underpass right across the dam section just like you do in the campaign they also added a little walkway on the outside to kind of give some more flanking opportunities but i would say keep an eye out for any incinerators on the map let's like what's down here actually Oh no, no, you don't go down there. Oh no, you don't go down there. I don't remember that being in the level, but uh, now I know not to go down there. <laughs> Next would have to be the intro section of the mission outskirts from Halo 2 recreated within Halo Infinite's Forge. This is a very faithful recreation of that intro section, which is again, so iconic to Halo 2. Even this part in the campaign mission felt like a firefight mode, where you have to jump onto the building and defend it from the waves of enemies coming at you. And when the hunters come Come at you the nostalgia just hits i will say it does feel a little cramped when you have like up to eight players and top of firefight and ai enemies coming at you and i had to test this out you cannot do the speed run tactics and jump on the rooftops and things like that they put kill barriers there for a reason to kind of focus the gameplay which i understand but i was like man come on i want to do it but from when i played it it played great it was a really fun map to play highly suggest to play it if you wanted to play some firefight right now continuing on with the themes of recreated maps from the campaign we have the storm recreated in Halo Infinite. This is straight up Halo 3, dude. I love this. Let's go. This is the battle arena when you fight the Scarab. And there actually is a Scarab that was forged on the map. Now, it's not mobile and things like that. It's more stationary kind of aesthetic to the whole thing. But AI enemies do spawn on it. There's a power weapon on it as well. There's grapple hooks and lots of great sandbox items for you to utilize within this map. I had to jump in and play like what was the campaign where I jumped on the back of a mongoose with a rocket launcher to shoot at all the AIs that were flying at us. Taking advantage of the sandbox that's on the map you can really utilize it to get to some really cool elevation locations to take on the enemy ai as you please but this one has a big focus on vehicle gameplay just big open experience for you just to jump in and blow a bunch of stuff up i mean how does that not sound like fun the Forgers did attempt to put the Master Chief Boat Easter Egg on the map. I'm pretty sure they ran out of budget, but I appreciate the effort that was put in to at least put the object. It was very similar in size there. But this map is incredibly well forged, very faithful to that part of the mission on Storm. Even the skybox looks amazing, really fits the same kind of color palettes and the aesthetic of everything was just fantastic. If you want to play a firefight mode with some vehicles, this would be my go-to. Next one is not a recreation from 
Forge campaign, but I would say an absolute dev quality Forge map. And it's called Hydra Station, created by Unique and his crew of Forgers. So if you know it has Unique's stamp on it, you know it's going to be high quality. And after playing it, I would say it absolutely meets that insane bar that Unique and his team put together because this was just dev quality forging put into this one. It does require its own mode called Firefight Ops, where you have to score 100,000 points to finish the match. I played on hard difficulty and we were nowhere close to hitting 100,000 after playing on the map for about 20 plus minutes. But I'm sure if we're a little bit more coordinated, knew what we were doing, we could probably hit it. The really fun thing is the intro of the map where you spawn in an ODST drop pod. You drop down to the level, get out, and then you start shooting everything in front of you. I really appreciate that extra bit of detail that they added into the map to really feel more like a pun intended unique experience compared to everything else that's out there. There are wraiths that spawn outside of the area that you can play in so you gotta make sure you take care of those. There are jackal snipers that are on the top of the mountains and things like that so you gotta keep an eye out for more than just like what's on the ground floor you gotta keep an eye out above you as well. This one also features objectives on the map as well for they have to capture to earn your character some more points. There's a bit of an armory station as well to kind and get some really cool high-end weaponry for you to blast all the bad guys in front of you. Snap also does a great job of hiding the spawn locations of the AI as well. They utilize phantoms to drop in AI, but they also have hidden AI spawn locations that you can't access as well. Very similar you would see in a campaign mission. Again, I love that level of detail that they put into it. And we also play on this, when you have boss fights coming at you, it gets real tough when you have a chieftain with a big hammer coming at you. Let's just say a lot of your teammates are gonna go down. Oh, we got bosses coming in. Oh, 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 no. Oh, very angry bosses. Oh my God, very, very angry bosses. <laughs> if 343 doesn't have this map for the Firefight playlist that's coming in later in season five, I would be shocked and feel like they're missing out on something. The last Firefight map for this video, guys, is a recreation of the Ark. Obviously not the entire mission from Halo 3, but that one section where the Ford Unto Dawn swoops in and drops you a tank where you beat everything with it. Yeah, that section that was recreated. This is another Firefight map that utilizes vehicles in a great way. Roaming around in this section with the Warhog as a gunner, just slaying all the AI around me. Like it was just a pure nostalgia hit and I loved it. Though this map did feel very well balanced between the vehicle play and on foot play where you felt like you were effective in either situation. Again, the forging on this map is incredible. Feels like I'm just playing that section from the campaign as a firefight map. The skybox looks amazing. Totally fits the aesthetic of the level. You do have to play with the Arc Firefight 2.0 mode, which is scaled properly for this level as well. Then at the end, we have this boss fight. It's just fun to have the entire team just gang up on there with all the AIs that spawn at the end of the level. And keep in mind, this is only the beginning of firefight modes being made within Forge. So if you guys want to see some more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Now catch you on the next one. Peace out.